Maybe they can hear us. Hello? Lost radio. Lost dash radio. Lost the new dimension of sound. Hello and welcome to the 2 o'clock news. Philippe David was mistaken for a paedophile by a group of three men who smashed him around the head with a wooden pole in Surrey last August. Castlake, Bailey and Miller boasted about the killing at Kingston Crown Court heard. David now suffers brain damage and needs full-time care. 310 holidaymakers were given the opportunity to come back home after the volcanic ash prevented flying. Yesterday noon, a naval ship set for a 40-hour journey for Portsmouth from Santander, Spain. Many others were prevented the opportunity and are still stuck in foreign countries. Father David Richards of Nor Norwich admits killing his baby daughter 25 years after her cop death. He admitted he suffocated his daughter after being impressed by his son about the death. Richards was charged with manslaughter, six assaults and four charges of child cruelty. In your entertainment news today, Britain's Got Talent judge Amanda Holden has been signed up to present the early show representing Maggie Rodriguez goes on maternity leave later this year. This is Holden's first presenting role in America and it's for the biggest channel, CBS. In other news today, Adrian Charles is leaving the BBC and deflecting to ITV on a four-year, £6 million contract. Adrian has been tipped to take over as anchor on GMTV as well as present sporting shows for the network. Charles is the second big name to leave the BBC in recent months as his preceder Jonathan Ross also announced he was leaving. And finally, your TV highlight for tonight. Three in a bed comes to Channel 4 tonight from the makers of Come Dine With Me. Three B&B owners battle it out to see who has the best home, and in true Come Dine With Me style, each visitor decides how much they are willing to pay in yet another reality money-making show. In sports, Frank Lampard from Chelsea spooked by Paul Scholes' winning goal for Man United. This puts Man United only one point away from the top of the table, with Chelsea 77 points, Man United 76 points, Arsenal 71 points, Tottenham 64 points, Man City 62 points and Liverpool 59 points. Lampard concedes that Chelsea have to play far better than they have been against Stoke to guarantee a first place in the table. In other news, Barcelona and Inter Milan game. Barcelona team had a 14-hour road trek to Milan, then lost 3-1. The Barcelona coach refuses to blame the 14-hour road trip for their defeat and says that this is the semi-finals for the Champions League and the desire to get to the final should be far more important and they have all to do in the second leg if they want to get to the finals. And in weather, um, today should be fine and sunny all day in London. Hello, I'm Demo O'Leary and I've been instructed to tell you you're listening to Blast.